Hello and welcome to this very special video, or indeed DVD, here in the set of one of ITV News' main evening news programmes, the very famous Granada Report. And this is in the studio where the Beatles first performed and where Coronation Street was first transmitted live way back in 1960. And in the old days, when I used to have something on top, it used to look like this. We're going, we're going, but did you make 40,000 guilders? No, you go not. You go not. OK, we're going. Okay. Just tell me this, are you involved in the business now? Or are you finished with it? You go now. No. You're finished with the business? OK, now, Geoffrey, leave the camera alone, Geoffrey. Leave the camera, Geoffrey. Out! Geoffrey, Out. we're going, Geoffrey. We're going. We're going. We're going. It was only the salmon who got bitten, by the way, and he probably deserved it. This is the set of one of ITV1's most quoted political programmes, The Sunday Supplement. And even more riskier than a dogfight in Amsterdam is doing two rounds with these guys, particularly the latter one. It's an embarrassment to you, isn't it, that Piers Merchant has now been reselected by his association. And it's an embarrassment to you that Neil Hamilton is going to stand for Tatton, isn't it? Well, I, I tell you, let's, let's address this. Tony Blair has got powers to get rid of candidates that embarrass him. Now, do you think that's healthy for democracy? Well, let me you ask you, think, would you like to get you, rid of Neil Hamilton? Well, that's the whole point I'm on about. Yes or Neil, no? I'm, well, I'm going to answer your question. I have made it absolutely clear, my view about Neil Hamilton, that he is in the position where there's an inquiry into certain things that he may or may not have done. But you asked he, him to resign is, at one stage when he worked for you. I, I, I... Expecting us to seriously believe that John Prescott, the deputy leader of the Labour Party, now supports the notion of privatised railways or privatised no, air traffic control? Uh, in fact, I gave you the idea four or five years ago. No. Um, wait a minute, don't tell me no, that's what I did. And more from Mr Prescott later in this video. There's a threat. But now that I'm like James Bond, blonde, things tend to look a little like this. Are we, from your position, can you tell us, are we any closer whatsoever to finding the world's most wanted man, Osama bin Laden? I think uh, we get closer day by day. I can't say, for, of course. Uh, let, me, let me just pick up a very important point, please. because we're coming to the end of the interview. You said a moment ago, we're getting closer day by day to capturing Osama bin Laden. Are you serious, and do you think it could happen within months? I can't say is the answer, and that was my point. And you're trying to get me to say that his association with BAT makes him unsuitable to be a leader of the party. Well, is people that the can case? Make up their own, people can make up their own minds. I don't think that in itself does no, but it's not something that I would personally endorse. But uh, you wouldn't personally endorse what? His peddling of carcinogenic uh, drugs, as you call them, or indeed his leadership for the uh, Tory party? Which one is it? Well, I, think there are many, I think there are many qualities Ken has to be um, leader of the party. Um, there are his views on Europe I don't agree with, um, his views on tobacco I wouldn't agree with. Um, but there are many pluses and minuses in all the candidates. You're not, are you, because trust and honesty in politics is something that's very important, especially with somebody who's running for the leadership. You're not using your fiancé to say things publicly that you perhaps would prefer not to say directly, are you? Well, I've already said them before. Is that a yes or no? I've already said these things before. The idea um, that I'm not willing to say these things when, as shadow health spokesman, uh, I said many times uh, about the, the problems with tobacco and other drug use. So uh, I think that your question is, is really not very a very fair or um, sensible one, if I may say. One of the big issues that facing your government now is the whole question of trust. And it seems to many people that you Well, I hear you say that. Would you like to make the case of what the trust the case is? Is it on a poll? Well, 48% of people... Well, I mean, we're back to that poll believe again. That you're, you're... I've got new gov that gives us different things every other week, for God's sake. But on the basis of trust, 48% of the people do believe, according to a poll, that your prime minister lied. No, but that's your only evidence at the moment. And I'm not sure I'm going to accept that evidence in the way that you're putting solely as polls. But, but, but I mean, wait a minute. In election after election... Two tremendous victories were given to the Labour Party, which Tony Blair paid a major part in. Was there ever a time when you felt you might become the next Mrs Major? To start wrecking marriages, to start uh, the upheaval, of, certainly in the 1980s, it sounds like another generation ago. That, that was 
an absolute no-no. There is no vacancy because the Prime Minister is the leader of the Labour Party. And so I'm not going to play a game that you would like me to play. Lord Healy has said this weekend that Tony Blair should go. He shouldn't stay on. He shouldn't linger at number 10. Uh, do you think Tony Blair's time is coming to an end? I think Tony Blair has been a hugely successful leader of the Labour Party and Prime Minister. We should give free, clean drugs to drug addicts through the health service to disconnect them from criminality. Drugs on the public purse? Well, you can keep trying to make something of it. I'm not saying it is a good thing for people to take hard drugs, but I'm saying present policies aren't working. But you guys have spent all the time putting out those arguments that the leader of the opposition put as if it's true. Do you think Tony Blair should lead you into the next election? I think Tony Blair's every opportunity and it will be his decision. But you know, life shouldn't always be taken too seriously. Duncan Ferguson, uh, now an Everton player, was of course charged with assault for headbutting a player in 1994 and went to prison. Do you think, looking at what happened on Sunday, do you think the police should be involved in incidents like that? I think when it's clear that there's an intent to cause harm... Going out there, not with the intent of damaging the opposition, but you're going to go out there and win by any means necessary. It's not what the game should be about. It shouldn't be about... Hold on, hold on, Martin, hold on, pal. But it's not, what, it's not what any sport should be about, winning by any means necessary, being prepared to cause someone physical injury. You know, that's that, I, I accepted the... that I was taking that danger of going out there, or else I wouldn't go out I'm there. I'm going to let the last word on this go to Jake and Little Sutton near St Helens, who says, Van and Martin are worse than Arsenal and Man United. Sort it out. <laughs> well, I'm trying to. I might put them in the sin bed. Uh, we're going off air right now, but you can go online to continue the debate in the last word chat room. But tonight the last word goes to Dave in Stockport who says when it comes to access visas and family credit mums have the MasterCard oh, very good. on that note Dave we'll leave it <laughs> see you next week at half 11 good morning see what I mean life is for the living and certainly not for the faint-hearted college pays models more than eight pounds an hour and despite the employment services protests there's a feeling that its new policy is really just prudishness this has nothing to do with um, anything lascivious or sexual. It's, it's simply art students drawing a form, and I just happen to be the form. Yeah, yeah now I realise that, but what are the rates? I mean, hourly, or is it uh, daily? <laughs> Dream or, uh, on, Rob. Yeah. Dream well, on. you know, I've got a friend who's very interested. Yeah, she'll speak to you. OK, see you tomorrow. Perfect. So there we are, proof that even current affairs, politics and news has its lighter moments. Thank you for watching this video or DVD. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.